Get to Rutgers, Virginia Tech. Rutgers, Virginia Tech in this one. Rutgers has a uh, has good numbers, but they haven't played anybody yet. So it's been a uh, you know two games where it was actually kind of close at halftime in both mm-hmm. games. But Rutgers' offense exploded a little bit more, and their defense played much better in the second half. And so their numbers are actually pretty favorable. Ninth in scoring offense, forty five point six points per game. Sixth in off uh, third down offensive conversion percentage the kicker here 110th in third down defense uh zach what's what's going through your mind in this game so preseason i think we both picked virginia tech to win this game it's at lane stadium my mood on this game has actually shifted quite a bit for a couple reasons one I think the bye week actually came at a really good time for Rutgers because I think to your point, that third down defense, they just have not been healthy. Like obviously Ture has been hurt, uh, like he's out for the season, but they had a bunch of other defensive injuries that they were working through, uh, including their their top linebacker who I'm, I'm forgetting, uh, I'm forgetting his name. I'll, I'm going to look him up here in a minute. Um, uh, Tyreen Powell. Tyreen Powell was a little gimpy. Other guys that were were out for them as well, and they don't have the depth like a, a top tier Big Ten team. So I think that showed up in some of those games. The other thing that concerns me for Virginia Tech, their run defense is terrible. I mean, they're average. They're averaging giving up over five yards a carry to terrible teams. Like not Howard terrible, but I mean they lost to Vandy. They, they were close with Marshall at the half. They were close with Old Dominion uh, at the half. And the reason why is because they couldn't stop the run. Well, what does Rutgers want to do? They want to run the dang ball. And Kyle Manunga is one of the best running backs in the country. I think that offensive line has had time to gel. And I think, you know, Kaliak Manis has not been excellent. I wouldn't even say he's been good, but he's been adequate. And I think he gets enough at in the passing game with Demir Miller, with Christian Dremel, that it keeps the defense honest. And I think Rutgers wins. I think they control the clock. I think they kind of suck the air out of the out of the game. And I think they win. I think it's close. I think it's closer than a year ago. Remember, they won 35-16 a year ago. But I've got them 28-20 in this game. 28-20. All right. Um, I'm, I'm going to pick Rutgers as well. I have them. It's a little bit closer for me. 27, 24. I tend to agree with the points that, that you're making. I also think Rutgers secondary is just really, really good this season. They're doing a great job in coverage. Not just that. I think the linebackers in them are, are, are covering very well too. The run defense has been a little sus suspect, uh, in some areas, like you mentioned. So if Virginia tech can, uh, can run the ball a little bit on their own, uh, or, or, or against that run defense, you, they could find some su- success there. But I mean, people are talking about this quarterback, uh, Dupree's or however you say his name. Uh, they were talking about the Virginia tech quarterback being one of the best in the ACC. If that's your strength coming in against Rutgers, good luck. Cause I think this Rutgers secondary is legit. I think it's probably a top 10, top 15 secondary in the nation. And they've played like it so far. Again, I know it's not been great competition, but they've played like it so far. And so, um, I think Athen Kaliak Manis is getting more and more comfortable, not just with the offense, but with the guys around him. You have to remember, I mean, these are all new guys he's playing with. Manungai, Dimir Miller coming in from the FCS level. Like, that's going to be a, a huge thing for him to <laughs> – I know Dylan's in the chat. Um, I have to not look when I'm trying to talk when Dylan's in the chat. Um, but <laughs> – Darn it, Dylan, you, you threw me off. <laughs> you threw him off but his think, groove. Yeah, but I think at the end of the day, this is going to be a game where Rutgers really relies on their offense to uh, to score enough points to win this game because I think Virginia Tech has a better offense. And even though, like I said, Rutgers has a better secondary, I think Virginia Tech is going to find success at home scoring the ball. It's going to have to be Rutgers' offense that makes it happen here. I think Rutgers offense is good enough to do that, primarily because of Kyle Manungai. Kyle Manungai is one of the best running backs in the nation, and also you have that offensive line there uh, to consider as well. And so for me, like I said, picking Rutgers in this one, 27-24, I think the offense is enough. I think Virginia Tech has too many holes and what they're trying to do. Like you said, the run defense, I could see Kyle Manungai 200-plus yards in this game, two or three touchdowns, and, uh, and that's how you see it happen. 
Yeah. And I mean, just remember too, they have uh, Sam Brown in there as well. Who's a decent back. I mean, they have good depth at running back and Mononga is going to have the, the lion's share of that, but they have other backs behind him that I think might have big days too. Yes, yes, I agree. Uh, and if for anybody was wondering, Dylan says I'm uh, I'm not on my own podcast tonight, so I'm in the comments here. Aren't you so lucky? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we are so lucky, Dylan, that you skipped out on your own podcast. Just <laughs> um, and positive, Mike. He says not hard for a QB in the ACC to look good with guys like DJU. Uh, yeah, I th- I definitely think that pick was bad to say he was the best over uh you know Cam Ward. <laughs> He's kind of really good quarterback. Uh, but. Yeah, I mean, other than Cam Ward and Kyle McCord, there's really not any other great quarterbacks in the SEC that I can think of. I know the Boston College quarterback's been doing well. I think that's probably more because of Bill O'Brien than it is uh, than it is, you know, him himself. And I'm not trying to discredit the player. I just I just think Bill O'Brien is a really good offensive mind. You look anywhere he's gone, he's made the quarterback better. So that's just track record and what he's done so i guess uh, other than bryce young but he had bryce young for both years so you can't really say he made him worse at all because he had mm-hmm. him for both years he's better than he is in the nfl so <laughs> know that <laughs> know that that much um dylan says i'm battling a cold these students are walking germs yes that is that is how we got sickness in our house because my wife is a teacher and uh mm. Yeah, brought it home. And she just keeps getting sick again. Like, she starts feeling better, and then she goes to school, and she gets sick again. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we need a week off or something. Yeah. Um. All right, one more. Braska Rascal says, Rutgers running back average around 185 yards per game, only second so that RB uh, to that RB uh, at Boise State. 